next to San Francisco police investigating an attack that left a 73 year old man dead. Surveillance video shows the victim was beaten to death outside a 7 Eleven store. It was very tragic. Whatever happened to him, I just feel so sorry for his family, you know, because he didn't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. Police call the attack random and say their suspect also assaulted two other people. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach. Those beatings happened this morning on Bayshore Boulevard in San Francisco's Visitation Valley neighborhood. KTVU's Amber Lee live tonight outside SFPD headquarters with more on that surveillance video. Amber. Mike, police and neighbors tell me they want the public to be aware of this attack. It appears to be random and unprovoked. We must warn you that the video you are about to see is graphic. Surveillance video shows a man viciously beating another man repeatedly along Bayshore Boulevard in San Francisco's Visitation Valley neighborhood Tuesday morning around 6.30. Police say it was a random attack and that officers attempted life-saving measures on the 73-year-old victim, but he died at the scene. They had a dead body um, sitting on the side of the street with the tarp over it. And I was like, it was really bad. It was a lot of blood and it just, it didn't look right. It was like really scary. I wanted to know what happened. Happened. Police say the incident started when the suspect approached a 26-year-old man who was waiting at the bus stop in front of the 7-Eleven on Bayshore. The suspect pulled the 26-year-old into the 7-Eleven and beat him. Police say the suspect also attacked a 70-year-old employee and prevented the two victims from calling 911. The suspect went outside and approached the 73-year-old man he kills. It was shocking. That is like terrible. You know, somebody just got, you know, beaten to death. That is really brutal and scary. This man spoke with us on the condition that we not show his face. He works at the auto repair shop that steps from the crime scene. He tells me he often has to deal with people with mental issues coming into the business. One crazy guy came in and beat us up. Me and my buddy, we got sent into the hospital for a few days because it's that this like crazy random attack. He now carries a taser for protection. One neighbor tells me she avoids walking in the area. It's not safe. They need some type of security. They need security around here because it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. Like it's, this is ridiculous. Police arrested the suspect at the scene. Investigators have not released the identities of the suspect and the man he's accused of killing. The fire department tells me they transported two people to the hospital. There is no information on their condition. Mike? Amber, the name of the suspect wasn't released, but is it someone that police know from prior incidents or maybe this individual had been arrested for another crime prior? They did not want to release any information when I asked them that. They said this is an open and active investigation, and even though they have someone under arrest, they do not. Uh, the case is still open. They, they want anyone with information to come All forward. Right. Mike? Amber Lee, live tonight in San Francisco. Amber, thank you. New